The Dungeons of the Lavalette. This is the final part of the prologue, and it is a stealth section, or it can be at least. I play it as a stealth section, so if you want you can just run in and attack them with the small blackjack that you find in the in your cell room. But there are four possible paths for the or four possible ways that the that this quest can play out play out depending on if you uh, let Arian Lavalette live or not. Uh, this is this is one of the things that happens if you don't let him live. And instead of uh, meeting Arian, you actually meet his mother, Louisa. Uh, she's the one that has, she's the mother of Full Test's uh, illegitimate children. Uh, the potion I drank a minute ago, a minute ago was called the Cat Potion. It kind of gives you like super crazy vision. It lets you see in the dark perfectly, and it also lets you see kind of the internal organs of your enemies, or just anything that isn't you. So if you go up the stairs on the right, you can get a key from uh, the guard in the back. Uh, the reason I'm waiting there is because of the, that guy. I'm actually playing this entire section as a stealth. So basically I do not get into a fight. Well, actually I get into a fight in this section because it's physically impossible to sneak past them. At least I'm pretty sure it is. Actually no, because when you leave, uh, Vernon Roach says it's a... He compliments you on sneaking out quietly. Uh, what I'm doing in this part is I'm heading to the torture chamber to rescue uh, Louisa. If you go on the path to the left and you don't get the key to that door, uh, you, you do not actually come down here and you actually do something completely different. Uh, right here she uh, she is being tortured and being forced to sign a paper saying that Arian Lavalette is the father of Anais and Boosie, the uh, children of Full Test. So they have a prepared statement that says she had an incestuous relationship with her son. Which obviously isn't true, but they're trying but they're not trying to be truthful here, so... Yeah, watch out for the Executioner. You saw what he did with the with that one hit. Uh, that was the bleeding effect. Uh, bleeding just more or less takes massive amounts of damage off you uh, for like three or four seconds. And if you're lucky, you can knock the executioner on his back. Uh, the way to do that is you stun him with the Ard sign, and when he's kneeled over, you smack him in the back with a heavy attack, and he might topple over. That gives you lots of free hits. And now that the executioner is dead, you free Luisa. And. Hopefully that does not get my video banned. I've heard stories about this game getting people's accounts like, flagged multiple times, so... Hopefully that doesn't happen or I upload enough of these that nobody nobody notices quickly. Well, whatever happens, just gonna have to roll with it. That's about all I got at this point. I am glad, my lady. I like my eyes. Where are my so, uh, forgive me, but I just in terms of the story, what happens if you kill Arian is that Luisa is uh, kind of forced to make dealings with Nilfgaard. 
Uh, when when uh, King Foltus referred to Shillard Fitz Esterland as a black one, that is, that's kind of the derogatory term for Nilfgaardian in this world. Um, I'm guessing the reason is because their uniforms are all black, but their insignia is a white sun, so I'm hoping that's the reason why they're called that. Also, that guy just has a fun name to say, Shillard Fitz Esterland. Uh, Your Excellency. I think the Emperor of Nilfgaard is Emir von Emery. come to assist the Baroness Lavalette, former mistress of this castle. Yeah. Kind of rambling at this point. There's not a whole lot to talk about the point, at this point. Um, what do you want, Excellency? To aid you, my lady, or rather to da, 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 da. present a proposal. The Lavalettes have never made and so, uh, never you, make I don't believe you can stop Louisa from making. There are deals no with Nilfgaard, just, I think that's just part of the story. The, order, uh, the way the I have Arian played the this game the previous world. three times is that I have let Arian live, protection. and that is going Where to be what happens in my fourth and fifth time the through. Uh, the fourth that's and fifth being the, uh, the walkthrough playthroughs. I can guarantee their further safety and yours. Yeah, if you, you want to see everything in this game, protection. you're going to have to play Stomach most of it, it twice. Naturally, or at least you have to play the nothing in return. the latter half you of the game twice to see bastard. everything technically. Your ruse is not lost on me, but so be it. Now take me to my children. I hadn't planned but, to um, to the upper castle, and rightly so. Yeah, Many the good tremble with the good thing about meeting uh, Shillard here is I that he lets you out of the castle. He lets you walk out the front door, actually, the which is from the at least nice of him. And I will occupy for uh, with Arian, you have to go through a secret passage. At the main dungeon gate in the process. My lady, but, um, I leave you in the hands of this honorable. Be careful to hide from the guards properly in this next section. Uh, the first time I did this, uh, what happened was I think the guards might have started glitching out a little bit on their kind of AI routines, and they actually started walking towards me again, which is interesting. But we digress. Twenty heartbeats, then follow kind of didn't expect him to do that and I ended up getting caught a couple of times I trust him my lady uh, do you I, I have don't believe it happens in the recording so By your estimation how it's is a full it I find myself in now? it's full the stealth section uh, actually all four sections or all four versions of this area will be all come. stealth if I and remember correctly I should probably remember I record I recorded these and videos the like a week ago or something well. Maybe it two weeks? Time. Yeah. Go. It's been less than a month. I remember that much. But yeah, um... Gillard says, uh, count 20 paces, then follow behind them. You don't have to... Well, wait till he leaves the room. So yeah, that was the confession notice from Louisa that had not been signed. And she does not sign it. Uh, don't worry about the guards, they're kind of all gone at this point. Yeah, don't run up too quickly or else you should be, or else you can get caught by that guard, I believe. Uh, if you go up far enough, Shillard will start calling out you to the guards. There he yes, goes. Uh, he, makes, he makes the guard follow, he makes the guards follow him. And then he tells them that you've escaped. And kind of sends them back to try and find you. So yeah, if you hide out here, they should not be able to get you. But again, I ran into a glitch that caused them to kind of go off that path and go back onto their normal routines. Which got me caught a couple of times. Like, you, you, can, you saw that that guard was going to keep walking down the hallway to try and get me. But uh, you can see on the mini-map, when the last red dot goes by, you're free to just walk out the front door, actually. So yeah, you're free to leave, and the only thing you have left to do is talk to New Boy, 
and don't get caught on your way out. Uh, what happens is New Boy distracts a couple of guards for you, and if the guards see you, you have to fight and kill New Boy. And I Halt. believe that fails Why, the that you, um, the heart of Melitelli that you got at the very beginning of this game. Well, so I didn't. And I'm, I'm gonna to cut off here. I'm inclined to believe you. Glad to hear that. It'd be pretty stupid if I had to kill you now. Did all the Reavers survive the assault? Aye. They've been drinking themselves silly for two days now. I believe I owe you something. You don't owe me a thing. We wound up in a boiling cauldron during the assault. You know how it is when knights get caught in a tight passage. Nowhere to go. Those in the back push forward. Those in the front are stuck. And halberd blows raining down from above. I'd have been crushed if not for my armor. And about ten blows landed on my helmet. My ears still ring and I puke time and again. But I live and breathe. Concussion. It'll pass. Were you on patrol with the Reavers when they ran into those Scoia'tael? Aye. Kenneth mentioned the unit was especially vicious. Notice anything out of the ordinary? A unit emblem or something? Right you are. They had masks made of the cloth of Special Forces uniforms. And they hollered a lot. Yorveth or some such. Hmm. Where did the dragon come from? I've no idea. But it saved our asses. The elves ceased shooting at the sight of it. Can't tell you anymore, as we fled right then as if the devil himself was on our tail. Take this. Kenneth told me to study up, but I've not the mind for it. Just not cut out to be a dragon hunter, I guess. It could be useful to you, though. I need to go. There are sentries on the dike. No way you'll slip through. Can you distract them? Um, I'll try. But remember, count me out if there's a fight. In fact, we could end up foes. I hope not. Go. Just give me a minute. Cut him off! Follow me! All right! Let's go! Over here! Peace and quiet. I'm impressed. The boys were betting you'd turn the dungeon into another Blaviken. Can we sail? That peace and quiet might disappear irretrievably at any moment. Triss, is everything alright? Not exactly. I'm no longer the Royal Advisor. I've lost my post, my home in Gazima. Witcher's mistress, they call me. Kingslayer's whore. Triss, you put yourself out there. I ran into a hangman torturing Louisa Lavalette, trying to force her to confess to incestuous relations with her son. Foltest's children were to be Aryans. Sons of bitches. The hangman has hanged his last. But Shillard has the Baroness and her children. An interregnum is chaos by definition. Rats like Baron Kimbolt and Count Maravel rule Temeria now, or strive to. But no one save old Natalis can restore true order. Natalis is far away and of low birth. The crown's simply out of his reach. Baron Kimbolt, on the other hand. Politics is secondary right now. Vernon, learn anything new about the Kingslayer? A week ago I got a message from an informer in Flotsam. He saw Yorveth in the company of a large, bald man, not unlike the one you described. A week ago? Sounds like a cold trail to me. We need to start somewhere. The trading post is a few days upriver, in the forests that lie on the Adernian border. Yorveth's territory. Flotsam it is then. Triss. Yes? I'm a bit beat up. Will you look at my wounds? Mm-hmm. Let's go below deck. And I need you to tell me about Yennefer in detail. I want to hear it all, even the things you don't want to tell me, even the things that might hurt. Prepare to cast off. Clear the lines and all aboard. Lines clear, Captain.
War is a good time to forge friendships, alliances. Harry and Lavalette, busy building walls and forging swords, forgot that. When he was gone, those he loved were forced to forge friendships with those he hated.